legislators, please use your microphones. Roll call, Terry, please. Burns? Yes. Here. 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 Today, may we be open to others' ideas and beliefs, respectful of our differences, not threatened by them. May we grow an understanding of our motives, knowing that people often act out of their own fears. May we be a force for replacing fear with insight, helping us all be patient and kind as we talk. Strength, real strength, can always find compromise, working together, and we find common ground enable us to move forward with a shared purpose. May we see what is truly important and unite us, focusing on that to banish roadblocks of ego and fear. Today, may we be open to others' ideas and beliefs. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, conditions to be repaired or demolished and removed based upon a specific procedure set out in that local law which uh, the board has before it. On August 29, 2018, the codes department provided a report to this board on that on the property on River Street uh, as to its condition having been severely damaged by a fire on June 23, 2018. The opinion of uh, the code department is that it is unsafe, irreparable, and should be demolished and removed. On October 2nd, the board passed under resolution 329-2018. Uh, it adopted and set the hearing, public hearing on this matter for tonight, and it set forth the board's uh, preliminary findings that the building is unsafe and should be de demolished and removed allowing for Mr. Bolivar appear, to appear here today to be heard. Um, in, that, in that resolution, the board directed that he be served with a copy of the notice of this procedure, which my office did on October 5th. Um, uh, I caused the notice 
and a letter to be personally do, uh, personally served on Mr. Bol uh, uh, Bolivar, and also it was affixed to the to the building. In addition, my office served the current lien holders of the property, Community Bank and Snowbelt Housing, each of whom have a mortgage on this property. Um, the mortgage held by Community Bank was taken out in November of 2017 with uh, over $66,000. A mortgage was also taken out uh, under the um, Homeowner Assistance Program with Snowbelt Housing on that same date for $14,000. Those are still of record. There are no satisfactions of record. But on the October 15th, pursuant to the local law, I filed that notice with the Louis, Lewis County's clerk, clerk's office. On October 29th, I caused another copy of the notice to be sent to Mr. Bolivar uh, and advised him again of tonight's schedule. I have not heard from him. Uh, he has not responded to the codes department officials. And at this time, it would be my recommendation that in accordance with the local law, that the board um, direct that the property, would be the, the building be demolished, the cost of same to be added to the tax taxes owed for that parcel. Uh, and I would suggest perhaps, um, given the fact that it may cost over $20,000 to demolish that, that building, that uh, we go out to bid to have that done. And I would open it up to any of the board members who have any further questions. John, most of us here at the board understand why the county's taking this action and not the village since the residence <coughs> is in the village, but can, because it's a public hearing, could you just explain that rationale? There is an agreement that the county has with the village to, um, for the county to uh, take those steps on when there is an agreement and in fact the uh, resolution that we passed in, on uh, October 2nd specifically um, outlined the fact that despite that the village has its own safe structures law, which is village local law 2-2011, the county, since it performs the enforcement services under uniform codes on behalf of the village, the county would then step in and take that action if the village requests us to do so, which they did. Thank you, John. So is there, is Mr. Bolivar present or anyone who is representing Mr. Bolivar here wish to make a comment on this? If not, we'll move on to uh, <coughs> local law 5-2018 to abolish the office of elected county treasurer and to create and assign all the duties and responsibility of that office to a new appointed officer as a director of finance. Is there anyone here that would like to offer comment on that? Chair? Let the people speak there first. Go ahead. Okay. Vicki? Should I stand up or just talk loud? You can do whatever. Okay, I'll stay <laughs> setting. Public speaking's never been my thing. Um, my name is Vicki Roy. As retired county treasurer, I'd like to voice my objection to the elected position of county treasurer being abolished and replaced with an appointed director of finance. Just a comment first to clear up some information, misinformation I read in the Times. Prior to my term of office, Dickinson Fowler and Urban Karcher were treasurers whom I worked with. Dickinson Fowler was appointed by Urban Karcher as his deputy toward the ends of his last term. He had not come up through the ranks as stated in the paper. I do not believe that the treasurer's responsibilities were ever simply collecting taxes and keeping track of where the money goes. Monies have always been invested in borrowings, etc., have always had to be done. Prior to hiring a county manager, the treasurer budget officer handled most of the duties as well as his own. Regardless, if the treasurer is elected from outside or inside the office, New York State Audit and Control, New York State Controller's Office, and New York State Association of Counties offer many training courses and help. 
Also, the county treasurers have an association which meet regula regularly and are always great sources of information and help. The county treasurer has always been elected by the people for the people. This prevents the individual from being overly influenced by the legislators. The treasurer works with the legislators and with the departments. The treasurer is an independent position, as is the sheriff and county clerk. There are no restrictions or requirements other than following the election law to run for office. Of the 57 counties in New York State, 67% are, are elected county treasurers. There are five that have an appointed finance officer as well as elected treasurer. Madison, Nassau, Ontario, Saratoga, and Seneca, which are larger counties than Lewis. I feel that of the 18,350 registered voters in Lewis County, there are enough intelligent people who will vote for the right person to take the job. I put faith in our election process and do not feel the legislators should take that right away. I feel it would be irresponsible for the board to spend forty to fifty thousand dollars taxpayer money to have a special election. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have comment? Make a comment? Sure. Go ahead, Brian. Vicki, from one thing, the cost is forty to fifty thousand dollars. Board of Elections has said twenty thousand dollars. Second of all, what was I lost my train of thought. You as the voters still have the choice if you want to keep this elected or not. All we're doing is presenting it to the public to go ahead. If you still want a county treasurer, the public is going to vote on that. We don't have any choice on the final decision. So we just feel that presenting this is the reason why we've been given. It still is up to the voting public to make that decision. I don't understand why people don't get that part of it. Everyone's forgetting about that piece of it. No, I don't think we're forgetting it. I just think that it's there's no reason for the board to go to that extreme. The amount that I gave you, I also got from the election office, so I don't know what the difference was. But it, it is. It's a waste of money and time to, to spend on doing something that doesn't need to be done. I'm just going to make a couple comments here along what Ryan was trying to say. I think this board views this as a question of risk, and we're merely asking the question to the general public, are you comfortable with that risk? Are you comfortable with the possibility that we could, for the first time in over 20 years, that we don't have someone coming up to the ranks that really understands the position? If that happens, then we're, we say, let's say one, only one person runs for election, and that person has no uh, qualifications whatsoever in the finan in, for financials. That person will be elected, and at that point, we will be forced to hire someone probably in the $150,000 range to fulfill the duties that are necessary at Treasury. So if the, if the general population is comfortable with that scenario, we're fine with it. We're okay. not trying to jam anything down anybody's throat. We're merely asking you a question uh, if you're comfortable with that scenario. But well, then we should do it with all of the offices, the sheriff and the county clerk and the legislators as well. <coughs> Maybe the people aren't all that comfortable with that situation either. So, anyone else? Um, Denise? Yes. Yours? Yes. I, um, I want to thank you for giving the public the opportunity to speak to, um, this evening. My name is Denise Yost, and I'm currently the senior account clerk in the Lewis County Treasurer's Office. When you didn't think you had a viable candidate to replace the county treasurer, I can completely understand your need to be fiscally responsible, and so your plan was to make the treasurer's position an appointed position. I'm here tonight to tell you that I intend to become a Republican candidate for the Lewis County Treasurer in the 2019 election. In light of this announcement and the realization that there is now a viable candidate who, uh, who works in the treasurer's office, I'm hoping you will vote to not go forward in spending taxpayers' money on a special election <coughs> in the spring to make the county treasurer an appointed position. 
I believe it will be a waste of taxpayers' money, and I believe the majority of the voting public will vote no because they will not want their voting rights taken away. In closing, I would like to say that if elected, I have the confidence, the knowledge, and the background to serve the public as the next county treasurer. Thank you. Anyone else have any comments? Bill? Yes. Yes. I, I, I hate to see this position being taken away from the voters. I think this is a position that should be left with them. Uh, I have a daughter's birthday party to go to. So I'm, I, I'm leaving, not out of angst, but just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Roy, what she said, and no disrespect for any of the legislators, but what, 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 what troubles me is that you all trusted 10 of you, the community of Lewis County, to elect you with their good judgment. And I know that Legislator Morgi has said that uh, it's still up to us that you're going to put that out there. And you're correct, it is still up to the people to make that. But what it does is, why bringing it up, what we have done again in politics has created some undue stress that need not been brought about. Um, if you fully intend not to appoint somebody and leave it up to the people, then why was it even mentioned? And if it was mentioned out of fear that you may not have somebody you trust from your own county to run that office, what does that say about our leadership that's sitting in front of us? We're supposed to trust the people. It's the right of the people. We trust each other in this county. We trust each other to make the right decisions. It may not always fit everybody's agenda, but there's out of respect to each other in this county that we try to do the best person uh, to the positions uh, that they elect to those positions. I just feel it's a, it, it's, it's a terrible thing to even mention the words taking away the freedoms the constitution of the people to express themselves in no other way any other country in this world can do that. And so I would just hope that uh, we would all remember that and you would all remember that when it comes time for your elections and our elections and my election. And we don't forget, we give it to the people. We put the trust in them. So I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just saying that uh, I'm against that and I think that we should definitely elect our county treasurer. Thank you. Anyone else? If not, we'll move on to privilege of the floor. Uh, our hospital CEO, Jerry Kater, is with us tonight. And we would like to introduce a new position that we have at the hospital. And we're saying this long time resident of Lago. Well, thank you. Uh, it is really my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Catherine McHugh. Uh, Katie is a 2007 graduate of Loudville Academy, and um, I learned something most recently. Her kindergarten teacher was uh, Superintendent Cheryl Stickley, who sits on the hospital's Board of Managers. So when I had the opportunity to introduce Dr. McHugh to the board, it, it was felt this coming full circle. And um, Katie is uh, employed by Lavo Medical Associates and is a family practice physician. What's exciting about that, it's everything, you know, from birth through pediatrics, taking care of the whole family. In fact, Katie is on call and is expecting to deliver one tonight. So she comes running, she leaves running, you know why. Katie is a St. Lawrence University graduate, received her, um, degree from SUNY Upstate, and as I said, specializes in uh, family medicine. So we are thrilled to welcome her to the community back home. We're thrilled to welcome her to Lowville, uh, to Lewis County General Hospital, and it is really my great honor to, to reintroduce to you 
Dr. Uh, Katie McHugh.
both in training and in capital improvements, adding the appropriate infrastructure to serve healthcare delivery for the future. Everything I've wanted to do in my practice, administration has been very open to. Whether that's new technology or renovations or having the right staff here in the building, I think they're definitely invested in the best outcome for the patient. I look back on the 20 years that I've been here so far. I'm excited about what's going to happen in the next 10, 15, 20 years. The providers in this community have really opened their arms to me. It's a great group to work with. donations of personal hygiene items we are also requesting baby clothing as well as items needed throughout the year for our seniors um, from <coughs> DSS 617 early mail out for heat applications have been sent out for Lewis County and DSS has been working on the eligibility of them Two robocalls have been made to those who received applications to remind them to return them as soon as possible. Payments will start being paid out to vendors the week of Thanksgiving. Regular heat opens to the general public on Tuesday, November 13th. Furnace cleaning and furnace repair and replacement through heat is still open. Uh, Lewis County has 13 children in foster care. 
of which seven are entered in October. This is the highest number of foster care replacements in the last five years. With two months to go yet in this year. And that's our report, Mr. Cameron. Thank you, John. Any questions for John? Moving on to Randy, taxation, election, and information. Technology. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, not all I have is I heard there's an election going on today. Just uh, so if you haven't yet, please vote. We got till nine o'clock. Um, that's about all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Have all that. Ryan, County Officers, Veterans Junkyard, HR. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On the veteran side, um. <coughs> Our Veterans Director Stephen Kalinowski gave us our quarterly reports last month and um, made us aware of our, gave us a sheet here with all the um, payments he's done. So disability compensation payments were $498,825. Couple of them clean, that's high this quarter gen over what it generally is because what Stephen's been doing there's been, um, since he's been using since 2008, using the appeal system to get two specific veterans, their disability claims, and he's been keeping after appeal and reappealing. So, them two claims are both over $100,000. So, Stephen's doing a great job for our people down there. Um, education payments, he's, he's, he's gotten $83,838,000. Vocational rehab payments, $11,000. Total health care enrollments, he's taken care of, are 52. So the total funds that come into our economy here for the third quarter was $594,000. He gave us some updates on the um, Veterans Health Administration, too. The health Veterans Health Administration, they're getting rid of the VA Choice Program, and they're replacing it with a more nuanced plan, the VA Mission Act which allows enrollees to receive their health care from private sector doctors. Um, this plan is supposed, to be in implement, it's supposed to be implemented in about a year. So he also made us aware that there is a new national cemetery opening up in um, western New York and Pembroke, New York. And that's on schedule to start um, this autumn, this fall, we're supposed to start construction on that. Cemetery will have space for 96,000 internments. And that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Any questions for Brian? Thank you, Brian. <coughs> Fury, please <coughs> means building to ground. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, building to ground, so I got a new van. Oh, don't have to push that. Sorry. Um, got a new van, it's working out well for them. Um, at our committee meeting, we were informed that the roof was leaking out front. Um, so I think they got that taken care of on the cabinet. Looks yes. like you can out there. I, I haven't seen it today, Jerry, to be honest with you. They, they painted it. Um, sure. We've got the contractors lined up. I don't think they've been up there yet. But the it same. Like new flashes and stuff, unless I went there wrong. Well, anyways, we're well, it's all painted. Yeah. Of replacing the roof if it hasn't been done yet, providing they can get it done. Yet this year before the snow flies and stuff. And if we're not able to do that, then we're going to turn around and turn around and um, get it out next year. Uh, that's all I have. Uh, thank you. Any questions for Gary? Thank you, Gary. Um, Public Health and Community Services. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Uh, <coughs> written in a bit this month, on October 22nd, the Art honored employers from all over Lewis County with a fantastic note from the Mount Fire Department and the board ceremony. The keynote speech was delivered by Assemblyman Ken Blankenwood. This event was a way to thank employers who work with the Ark to employ the people they say they serve. On October 9th, Community Services held its first board retreat. Malvo Fire Department generously donated the fire hall for the day. The day was brought CSB members, agency leaders, healthcare experts together to learn how to better work as a community serving residents who have behavioral health concerns. And that's my report, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Chicago? Commissioner Ryan, Economic Development, Planning, Forestry, and Parks. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just give an update on the building formerly known as the Climax Building. Effective immediately, it's called the uh, Lewis County Progress Park. So we're going to try to instill that into people so we're not calling it the Climax Building anymore. An update on that is uh, it was closed on October 17th, and if, uh, the current projects up there are <clears throat> the sprinkler system evaluation and repair, fire suppression evaluation and correction, overhead door weather stripping and repair, restroom repair and cleaning, front office cleaning, zoning clarification, transfer utilities, and tax exemption. It's the goal to have all of that complete by December 1st. Uh, after that, they'll work on the floor cleanup, roof winterization, plowing contracts, service the furnaces, secure external doors, and electrical mapping. That's what I have for the Mr. Chairman. Any questions for Rob? Great, Coach Law, emergency management. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to start out with the motions. Could be the motions right there? Yes, please. Um, for the Sheriff's Department uh, to replace or to put on one full time dispatcher effective 11 1 due to retirement. Thank you. Yes, yes, please. Any motion for that? Moved by Greg, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two is two part time <coughs> dispatchers effective immediately due to employees assigned to full time positions. Moved by Greg, second by Ron. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. One part time deputy sheriff effective 10 19 18 due to employee assigned to full time positions. Moved by Greg. Second by John. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And one last Kay. one. Is one part time corrections officer effective immediately due to a direct resolution? Moved by Greg. Second by Brian. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, uh, to the brief report. Uh, Mary Jo Burkhart was in, and we're still getting quite a bit of information. You know, slowly, about to raise the age. Um, we have contracted um, with the Capital District Youth Center in an event that we need a secure detention required. Lewis County can al may also be able to access a room at Hillbrook in Syracuse. And for the estimated cost, which we hope we don't have any of these individuals, the uh, Syracuse cost would be six to seven hundred a night, and uh, the capital district one is, uh, I believe, nineteen hundred a night. So hopefully we won't have those problems. Um, we went through the sheriff's. Uh, the sheriff did give us an updated uh, employee list, basically. Uh, there are 14 patrol, road patrol, two investigators, and three part-time employees. Uh, uh, Under Sheriff McIntosh had the figures. And uh, we had some interesting discussion concerning the Sheriff's road patrol. And uh, they did, you know, the Department of Justice recommends one and a half officers for every 5,000 residents, which computes to 40 officers, and our department is currently at 25. <coughs> I think we, we run pretty efficiently now. Um, and that's about it. But I did want to make a personal, uh, a personal note. Uh, yeah, there you go. Stand up. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, yesterday, I, I signed my retirement papers, and I will be officially retired from the state of New York. Uh, as of December 27th. So I will no longer be a state employee, just a county employee. Thank you. Congratulations. It's too bad that it had to go with this that way. The though. way that it had to go with the state is no longer going to be Any questions? 
questions for Greg? Yeah, thank you, Greg. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, first up, we, uh, Joanne Rubart, Executive Director of the Lewis County Hospital Foundation, uh, shared the memorial and honorary brick program with us. It's a way for them to raise money for the hospital. And if anyone wants to uh, pay tribute to a loved one, to a family uh, that was treated well at the hospital, that program's available. I'm not gonna bore us with all the times tonight, but her number is 376-5110, because there's several different options that you can take. Uh, I urge everyone that can or wants to do that to take advantage of that, please. Uh, if you see Eileen Carroll, registered nurse, she was uh, selected as employee of the month for September. Uh, please wish her well and thank her on her award. Some financial information. Uh, our year-to-date surplus is $8,417,000 versus our budget is surplus of 545000 Overall gross patient revenue was higher in all areas for the first time ever. Inpatient revenue was higher, especially in OR, med surge, and supply and IGT, um, and IGT money, which was credited for that period. Uh, they approved the 2019 budget for the hospital. Uh, it was approved to vote 10 10 0, passed unanimously. Uh, I'd like to request that we advertise for the open board position that you heard earlier, uh, as normal in the paper. Uh, try to have the uh, responses back so that we can announce in mid-December the new board member again. So if we could start advertising right away. Great. Thank you. Barring questions, that concludes my report. Okay. There's a couple of things later on that I'll <coughs> talk about in the <coughs> Uh, did, have they heard anything on their grant? All we heard was no, nothing yet. By the end of December, we hope to. Oh yeah. An answer one way or the other, right? Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you, Dick. Andrea, transportation, solid waste. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> I will start with the highway. Um. The deck on the Capitol Jordan Falls Road Bridge was poured, and they have started working with the county permission six days a week in order to complete it on time. It is scheduled to open just before Thanksgiving week, and the Blue Street Bridge is now open. Also, the salt bid was awarded to Carkill again this year, uh, but the cost is $66.00 and 85 cents a ton. And that is $5.76 more than last year. The impact that this will have on the highway will be $5,000 short in the 2019 SALT budget line. So SALT will be purchased. We are assuming <coughs> that will be the case for other municipalities involved resulting in a larger debt owed to the state at the end of the salt season from which season which is from one nine one eighteen to eight thirty one of nineteen. Uh, the snow and ice contracts with the towns, however, will not be affected in twenty nineteen because the contract reads if the salt price increases by ten dollars a ton, we pay them one hundred dollars more per mile. Uh, and I believe uh, Warren commented that Don from the state asked if they could use their own labor and equipment to push up the pile of sand, and he agreed. <coughs> okay, for solid waste, um, a new backhoe has been ordered, and the old one will be moved to Krogan. Um, we received a check for 21000 $59.29.27 for repairs of the 2016 International Tractor Trailer that was hit by a deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the first one in many years. First one ever, I think it's They've been very lucky. <laughs> uh, we paid Oneida Herkimer $2,253.89 for recycling processing for the month of September. 
although it is difficult to tell, it is our hope that recycling prices will raise again by the beginning of 2019. And Pete has been talking to Kraft on their recyclable materials. I also have a report from Michelle Belhart. Um, this, the modem stream gauges, the modem for the Deer River stream gauge is in the process of being programmed and will be installed within the next two weeks. Constable Bill, FEMA project, the FEMA stream gauge erosion project has been installed on the Sugar River adjacent to the wastewater treatment plant. This project uses natural stream designed to build river bay and project and protect its erosion. Black River Trash Bash, the district and water quality coordinating committee participated in the annual Black River Trash Bash on September 17th. The committee collected over 300 pounds of debris left on the blanks, banks of the Black River in Watson. This is of an international shoreline cleanup. Man, that wasn't good to read. Was it? <laughs> okay, Mill Creek. Forgive me, please, Vicki. <laughs> On uh, Mill Creek, um, we've had several meetings with landowners and the municipal officers regarding Mill Creek erosion problems. <coughs> the town, the county, and the village will assist landowners in installing large rock working under the jurisdiction of Soil and Water Conservation District Law. The landowners will pick up the money for the price of the stone required to protect their stream bank. The cost will be figured <coughs> on the footage of the motion <coughs> fixed along the stream bank. And so far, the county is the only participant. And that's all I have. Thank you. Any questions for Andrea? Thank you, Andrea. We'll have to the county manager report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> you have before you the uh, 2019 tentative budget. Um, just as a reminder of how this process works from here, on November 20th, we will have a budget hearing um, between now and the 20th. If there are changes that you guys would like to make to the tentative budget, we need to get those changes to Terry so that we can put them in the form of a resolution. Once they're in the form of a resolution, you can vote on the changes after the hearing on the 20th or if we need more time, we can vote to approve the budget on December 4th at the meeting. Um, also included this year is a tentative capital improvement program um, or capital budget. This runs 2019 to 2024. We will be asking that this document be approved by resolution. It does not lock us into future spending. In fact, it doesn't lock us into spending in 2019. It just gives us, by resolution, a generally accepted plan for how we want to move forward. Um, there can be a lot more discussion about this. In fact, I'm hoping that after January 1st, we can start setting up a series of special board meetings to talk about our capital improvement um, future. And um, I know there's been a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of talk, and we spent some money with the. Um, burning our car study, so after the first of the year, hopefully we can turn our focus to um, to some of that. Um, there are no surprises in here for 2019. It's all stuff that um, we already went over in the budget uh, workshops. The JCC project, the building is enclosed to the weather. If you go up there, you'll notice that all the doors and windows have been taped off. The um, roof and uh, sides of the buildings have uh, uh, been insulated. They'll be working on putting on the final layer of exterior siding and roofing um, over the next couple of, the we of weeks. On the inside, the interior walls are mostly studded in. Um, plumbing and electric are being run uh, throughout the interior of the building. Drywall and painting actually has already begun in some parts of the building, so uh, it's going to be crucial over these next few weeks that all of our uh, subcontractors work together, uh, but uh, we do remain on schedule with that. 
In terms of programming, once the facility is open, we will have JCC President uh, Dr. Ty Stone here at the next month's meeting to um, give a presentation on JCC's <coughs> plans for the new semester, which starts in February. Um, any questions on the budget or JCC or anything else that I can help you with? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have your monthly balances. Special legislative contingency is seventeen thousand six thirty-seven oh eight. Regular contingency is two thirty-one seven ninety-one twenty-three. Capital data processing is seventy-three thousand nine nineteen and two. Capital equipment, highway portion one fifty-eight four thirty-one twenty-four. County portion 265, 220, 72. Sales tax to date 8,989,198,80. And we are above budget. Internal service fund. As you can see, August um, was a month that we did lose. Um, 268, 424,44. So that brings our fund balance as of 831, 3,676,852,64. And that's all I have unless anyone has any questions. Any questions for the Thank you. Report of the Ways and Means Committee per Rule 7, Terry. Is that fair? Is that closed and public hearing? Anyone have any comments on the public hearings? If not, we will at this point close the public hearings. <coughs> for the Ways and Means Committee, the committee reports they've examined the claims presented for payment in the total amount of $3,343,122.93 and recommend that they be audited and allowed for the amounts claimed. Motion done, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. First resolution is auditing and allowing the claims for the preliminary issue for the preliminary issue for the preliminary issue for the preliminary issue for the preliminary Discussion? Ms. Hall, please. Burns? Yes. Chartrum? Yes. King? Yes. Holzer? Yes. Moshoes? Yes. Layman? Yes. Mallahan? Yes. Mosher? Yes. Osborne? Yes. Dahlhoff? Yes. Resolution adopting and treating local law number three to abolish the office of elected county treasurer. Moved by Brian, second by Brian. I wish to second it. Second for both. Moved by Gary. Discussion. Can you explain the, the order of the purpose that this has to be done before something else can be done and so on? Or? Sure. Joan, can you take that? In order, this action requires a referendum, you know, a public referendum. So these are the steps that we have to take. You have to um, vote on a resolution to adopt this um, introductory local law. And then we would set the date for a um, special election. If, if the board approves this resolution to go forward, then we would set a uh, here. Um, a special election and bring it to the voters. Any further discussion? No call to your please. Burns? No. Sharpen? No. King? No. Halzer? No. Bushos? No. Layman? No. Marahan? No. Mosher? Yes. 
resolution of the public hearing on the 2019 10th of Lewis County budget. Moved by Jerry, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. The transfer funds, buildings and grounds. Moved by John, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Authorizing surplus state aid payment to transitional living services of Northern New York. Moved by Andrea, second by Jerry. Discussion? I'm sorry, Jerry. Base payments. What do we pay them right now? No, it said base payments. Surplus state aid payments. You want to know what the surplus state payments are? Well, what, what, what I this, mean, is, this is something new, right? right? Well, what it is is they did they completed an audit for 2013, they and they time. found that um, TLS did not bill for um, things back in 2013, and what happens is. Um, Community services gets advance payments from the state, and so they put it into a reserve. Um, okay. Because we get the advance payments from the state, we put that money in the reserve to hold for the state to ask for it back when they don't use it. Well, in the meantime, they did the audit for TLS. They said, wait a minute, TLS did use some of that money, so you can pay TLS the money instead of sending it back to the state. So now TLS is going to ask for some of this money. So we're, we're just saying, let's do a resolution to say that we can pay TLS for 2013 Thank you. Um, payments. All good? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Jerry, second by Greg. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Jerry. To appropriate funds, transportation department. Moved by John, second by Brown. Discussion? Larry, the, the balance in these two, the balance on this one is the same number as the balance on the next one. If this one passes, wouldn't the balance on the next one decrease? These are before, if you look at your sheets that I just read from, the balance is here. Okay. It tells you that that's the balance before these resolutions. Before both of them. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Andrea? Mm -hmm. so wasn't there a tractor and a sweeper purchase like within the last couple of years? Mm -hmm. How old is this? How old is no. Oh, I do believe we, we purchased uh, we purchased a new mower from Craig. I don't think we purchased a sweeper. I don't believe one. We purchased a new mower with an extended room off to the side for the side right. shoulders. I think that was a couple years ago. A couple years ago. Mower, bigger tractor with a boom mower. <coughs> yeah, I don't think it was a sweeper. I caught that too, Greg. I asked that in committee, and it, it was it was a. Can you utilize that same tractor for with a sweeper on it? You would have to you would have to retrofit the front of it to have a hydraulic pump on the front. Yeah, and it's, a, and it's a bigger machine. So yeah. hard to get it on with far as super. It seems up with ninety nine thousand dollars for a tractor. Sounds like a fairly good sized tractor. The one we just purchased. <coughs> yeah, this one that you're purchasing. Yeah, it's a combination more sweeper. Oh, it didn't say anything about more. Yeah, it's got a slight more. Well, that makes the, more well, sense. So the mower we bought before has, if you the see on the state, yeah, it has the arm. Yeah. 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 This one here will just have the, the side, side. Yeah. spinner. Okay. 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 Discussion? Is that in all favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <coughs> to appropriate funds, transportation department. Moved by. 
Brian, second by John. Discussion? All in favor? All in favor? Authorizing the favorable Lewis County General Hospital for cash transfer and repayment of indebtedness. Second by Brian, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'll show Jerry opposed. Motion carried. To create the Lewis County JC Education Center Advisory <coughs> Committee to appoint members. Moved by John, second by Jerry. Discussion? Uh, I, Ryan, I, I just have one question. I yes. know if, um, Lavo and South Lewis's superintendents, was the offer offered to all the Beaver River School Districts or not? For the superintendents to be on this advisory committee? These are the, the superintendents that have been working with JCC um, on their curriculum development. The goal of this committee would be to have it rotate through so that every year a different superintendent okay. right. um, gets on the committee. We want all five to be okay. represented. They, 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 they part, of the, part of the issue with this committee is the MOU that we passed just sets that we shall says that we shall establish an advisory committee. Mm -hmm. It doesn't set forth bylaws. It doesn't set forth term limits and that kind of stuff. But that will need to be established once the committee gets formed. Okay, I just want to make sure that all yeah. five districts mm -hmm. have the opportunity to have a board of summons. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have a question. Um, to the only one that's really not identified here is the legislator. We have a legislator that has interest. Can we appoint him now? Um, By motion. So you were just a you just announce it? You would announce okay, so, uh, John Layman has uh, expressed an interest beyond that, so I will appoint John Layman to this uh, advisory committee. You don't have enough to do. No. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> 382 is authorizing the agreement between Office for the Aging and the Command Hotel. Moved by John, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. To appropriate funds, Office for the Aging. Moved by Jerry, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Reappointing member to Lewis County Opportunities Board of Directors, Jennifer Jones. Moved by Tom, second by John. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Reappointing member to Planning Board, Michael Cato. Moved by Jerry, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing extension agreement between the county and New York State Office of Indigent Legal Services for distribution number six. Moved by Jerry, second by Ron. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Jerry. Authorized project agreement between Public Health and Central New York Care Collaborative Incorporated for performance activities funding. Moved by Moved by Jerry, second by Brian. Discussion? All there. All right. Okay. Opposed? Carried. Authorized an MOU between Public Health and Community Action Planning Council. Moved by John, second by Ryan. Discussion? All in favor? All right. All right. Opposed? Carried. Appointing members to Public Health Services Advisory Committee. Moved by Brian, second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Jerry. Authorizing agreement between Aiden Brothers Logging and Lewis County Rec Recreation Forestry and Parks. Moved by Ron, second by Randy. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Jerry. 
Regarding CEQA review of new trail be added to the Lewis County ATV trail system and declaring no significant impact for Wildman Runnels property. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to withdraw that uh, resolution at this time along with resolution 392. Um, I failed to um, put the notice of the public hearing set for tonight, so we can't move forward with the seeker and adding it to the, uh, to the trail system uh, until we set that public hearing. So at this time, I would request that uh, after, you, after you take that, after we withdraw this, if you'll, if someone will make a motion to reset the public hearing for this property for the December 4th meeting at 5 o'clock. So we're going to withdraw 391, 392. We need someone to make a motion to set the public hearing for this trail addition. Moved by Ron, second by Brian. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 What's the date of the public hearing? December 4th, 5 o'clock. Sorry, Jackie. She won't be launched. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually questioning if, if uh, it wasn't, uh, are you sure that it wasn't published? Can I just run into the office? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there, it wasn't me. No. <laughs> no, no. You just said the same thing. You're supposed to know this stuff. What the heck do you think I'm paying you for? Why do you think I'm paying you off? <laughs> <laughs> you guys choose your official publications. Oh, you get jealous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pass the box. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was approved last month, but. I know you approved it. I don't like the dead, do you? I don't know what's up. You worried about World Series, I think. I'd be like, what is it? I want to go in the world. I can't want to go in the world. But too long. I'm going to go in the world. I'm going to go in the world. That's why I like to watch that. Me too. It's kind of go something going on. I ain't really big on soccer, but it's the same thing. It's on time. Yeah, it's about bounce card keep running. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yes, it does. But for all anything like that. Okay. It was the other hearing that I remembered. It was oh, the yeah. hearing for the coal problem. Oh, okay. So okay. Ooh. So we'll do it next month. Okay. Good to go, right? Good to go. To appropriate funds, trail maintenance. Mm -hmm. I Randy, second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorized agreement between Sheriff and Black Creek Integrated Systems Corporation. Moved by Ron, second by Greg. Discussion? Is this our only option ever with these programs? <laughs> Seems to be. I do believe they check into the and actually, Randy, it's, um, this is one of the better ones, and they they give us a lot of different uh, things in the software system that allows us to comply with uh, state requirements. So. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but, but they do a pretty good job. There's just another state mandate? Yeah. Oh, I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it comes down to All good. <laughs> You all set? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> all in favor? No. Aye. 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 Opposed? No. No Randy opposed. No one can Authorizing the agreement between the sheriff and one half career partners. Moved by Brian, second by Greg. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Period. Authorizing the amendment to agreement by between the county, sheriff's department, and board of education of South Lewis Central School. Moved by Tom, second by Randy. Discussion? 
this is consistent with what we're doing for the other schools, right? This is the one that started. Yeah, it started. Yeah. Going forward. Yeah. 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 So, so this will be the precedent. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, I know, Mr. Chairman, uh, this contract runs concurrently with the con contract that we approved with Harrisville School District. Mm -hmm. So we will That's both right. be on the same schedule, mm -hmm. which will also be in schedule with both of our budgets, so we don't have to you know, go through the funding again. Mm -hmm. yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Authorizing an agreement between the sheriff and transitional living services. Moved by someone. Brown. Second by Andrea. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Mm -hmm. Authorizing an agreement. Authorizing the sheriff's department to submit to submit online grant application to U.S. Department of Justice and the State Criminal Alien Assistance Program. Move by Jerry, second by Ron. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Jerry. Authorizing renewal agreement between DSS and Vinical Technology Solutions. Move by John, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between DSS and Elmcrest Children's Center. Moved by John, second by Randy. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Agreement between DSS and Office for Aging for people. Moved by Randy, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Agreement between DSS and the Rose County Office for Aging regarding peace. Moved by Randy, second by John. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing an agreement between DSS and Rubenzoff, Gibson, and Associates. Moved by John, second by Randy. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Authorizing agreement between DSS and Snell Farms Children's Center. Moved by John, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. To appropriate funds, solid waste. Moved by Gary, second by Brian, discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Gary. That was a pretty uh, good year. Huh? Mm -hmm. Appointing members to traffic safety board. Moved by Dick, second by Andrea. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Gary. <laughs> Authorizing agreement between County and Grown Teachers Federal Credit Union for public transportation bus advertising. Moved by Brian, second by Tom. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing application to New York State DOT Modernization and Enhancement Program for supplemental funding transportation system. Moved by Ron. Second by Jerry. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Jerry. Authorizing agreement between County and Planning Department and Google to place Lewis County Public Transportation routes in Google Online Transit Planner System. Moved by Randy, second by Brian. Discussion? This is the speech ridership and stuff is over for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's actually going to have a, an app where they can uh, trace our transportation system, our routes, so that it will be uh, user-friendly for people to try to use the bus service. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Authorizing renewal agreement from County and WWNY 7 News for public transportation advertising. Aye. John, second by Tom, discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 
Mary. Resolution 411, amending compensation standards with the Lewis County General Hospital. Moved by Ron, second by Dick. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Amendments to contract between the Sheriff's Department and Fort Drum to confine military pretrial and post trial soldiers. Moved by Jerry and second by Brian. Discussion? I do have one question. Mm -hmm. um, even though we have this contract and stuff like that, what, uh, do we need it for our use? Um, we do they have to pay gate or how does that work? We won't take them in if we need the space for us. Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Here we go. Do we have any others in the board? Yeah, it was.